When we are studying science, it is natural to categorize the whole series of things like something very small that we cannot see by our eyes. So today I would like to say about the scale of the cell. That thing was very very small. And what is the mind what we have what is in the mind maps is very small but the difference between them is actually really big. And also I just for scale, uh, that is my drawing of a water molecule. You have oxygen here between two these between two of the uh, the the hydrogen molecule, and this is going to be roughly zero point two hundred seventy five nanometers. So let I uh, explain a bit. One nanometer is one a billion of a meter. Uh, so, if you want to attempt to visualize, that would be one millionth of a millimeter. So that is the diameter or the width of the water molecule. Next up, this is our friend right over there is hemoglobin protein, and the width of the hemoglobin is 5 nanometer that's about 5 billion of a meter it seems super small however it's more bigger than the water molecule you can see the little water molecule over there it's very very small so when you go from the water molecule to the protein you dramatic up dramatically up the inner side and dramatically up in complexity. Now let's go to the next scale. This is a virus. Of course, you know it is a HIV, and it is 120 nanometers. That is 100 billionth of meters, and and that. Uh, and the hemoglobin over there is very, very small, and you can see the water molecule, but it's still very small. And this, this drawing over here is a T cell. It is a T cell, and you can see the HIV is that yellow things, and it is taking advantage of the T cell. That's why it is creepy. It's using the cell's machinery to reproduce itself. You can see in the picture how small the HIV is, so you can really see the hemoglobin or the molecule. And on this similar scale, it is T cell. It is T cell. You have a red blood cell, and the red blood cell is going to be 6 to 8 micrometer, micrometer wide. So it is 6 to 8 million of the meters. That means it's a lot bigger than a molecule, a hemoglobin, and the virus too. And in the electron, the electron microscope, they see that the red blood cells and the T cell have the similar size. And they are in here that 280 million hemoglobin molecule in that. And that is all about the scale of the cells.